What's going on, vinyl community? Welcome to another Sunboxing with the Record Spinner. In today's episode, I'm going to be doing an unboxing of the Queen News of the World 40th Anniversary Edition box set. Uh, this is a box set that I had acquired fairly recently. Um, this has been the only Queen album to get this sort of deluxe treatment, and I figured that this would be a prime candidate for the uh, Sunboxing series because it features CDs, DVDs, uh, vinyl, there is a hardbound book, memorabilia, all that good stuff. But real quick before we get into the unboxing, and please bear with me as I tell this story, um, this box set has kind of traveled with me for a number of years. So let's go back to 2017 when this box set had first come out. Um, I was working at FYE at the time and we had gotten this in and immediately it caught my eye because I'm a huge Queen fan and News of the World is one of my favorite albums of theirs. But I had to kind of take into account that I already have the 2011 Deluxe Remaster with the bonus EP, and I had the Half Speed uh, Master Vinyl, and I would basically be buying this for the hardbound book and the memorabilia. That's kind of how I saw it back then. So I kind of passed on it, and then my good friend Mark had come into the store uh, as he was a regular there, and he picked up uh, this copy for himself, which he rightly deserves. And then uh, flash forward to now, 2021, I am working at my local record store and I got word that uh, Mark had unfortunately passed away and uh, his brother got in contact with me uh, just to kind of keep me in the loop of everything. And uh, he was saying that, you know, he had left behind such a massive vinyl collection. And I'm telling you, the couple of times that I had hung out with him outside of my job, his collection was truly massive and he was um saying that most of it was going to go to him but uh he had some duplicates and such that he wanted to bring into the store for cash which is what we offer at my record store and i promised him that we would give him top value for what he brought in and i can gladly say that we did and out of the stuff that he had brought in and there was just like a really solid selection there was hendrix bowie judas priest t-rex and such Part of that collection was this box set. This was the crown jewel, no pun intended, of what his brother had bought, uh, brought in. And right off the bat, I immediately said that I was going to get my hands on this particular copy. Yes, this is the one that was at my FYE that Mark bought. But aside from getting it for a very good price, I'd like to think that this has found a great new home because... You know, Mark was a true appreciator of vinyl and music, and I'm sure he absolutely enjoyed this box set. And um, now I can say that I'm going to enjoy it. And um, there's a little bit of sentiment knowing that this belonged to him at one point, and here it is in my hands, and it was at my old job. So everything has kind of come full circle in a sense. So enough of the stories and enough of the chit chat. Let's jump into what this video is all about. And just like so, I will be switching angles. Okay, so here is the front of the box, and as you can see, has a nice glossy finish to it, and there is the Queen logo from the uh, album artwork, and inside we have the, uh, the robot, uh, which uh, appears prominently on the front cover, and the spine itself kind of is just basic black with no text, but what's a cool, nice bit of design is the back where it says Queen Rock the World. 1977 to 2017 which commemorates the 40th anniversary so they're really honing honing in on that fact that this is indeed the 40th anniversary edition just with that back design alone so we take the lid off and right off the bat inside we have that cue uh from the front of the box uh, replicated here kind of like a wallpaper of sorts and what do we have here we have a replica U.S. Winter Tour 77 Access All Areas Backstage Pass. So uh, when with all these box sets, you know how you get the replica tickets. When you can use those for time travel, you can also use a backstage pass as well. So you can kind of clip this onto your jacket or your shirt and you can party it up with the members of Queen back in winter 1977. It's a cool little addition here, you know. When it comes to box sets now, you know what to expect when it comes to the usual bits of uh, memorabilia. 
And this right here is the backing sheet. Now this came on the back of the box and there was like some kind of sticky kind of stuff, you know, on the back of it that stuck to the back of the box. Kind of just breaks down the set a little bit, elaborates on the contents and it lists everything here. So of course we have um, the album on vinyl, which is the new pure analog cut, which I will talk about in a sec. Uh, the 2011 remaster, uh, raw sessions, bonus tracks, a documentary on DVD. Um, all kinds of great stuff featured in this box set. But let's get into what is the cool part of this set, and that is the vinyl pressing of the album. So, of course, here is News of the World, the album as we all know it. Replicates the artwork beautifully. But take a look on the bottom. It says 2017 AAA cut pure analog signal path from original quarter inch master tapes to lathe so this right here is a 100 percent all analog pressing of news of the world perhaps could be the last all analog pressing of this album that's going to be out there um certainly perhaps has been uh, the only analog pressing that has been done in recent years of this album and uh, this pressing is exclusive to the box set as well this is not available outside so giving it this sort of, this sort of sense of exclusivity uh, really gives um the box set value for your money and honestly I listen to the vinyl pressing here in this box set and it is absolutely stunning. Um, I would perhaps go on record saying that this is the best way to hear this album. Now, of course, I haven't heard older pressings and I do have the Half Speed Master uh, from the Studio Collection box set as I do own that set. Um, I would say that pressing is great too, but this all analog version just kind of gives it a little extra umph to it. Um, the bass just fills up the room and it's such a wide depth soundstage. You really need to hear it for yourself. Now, the original album does come with the uh, red inner bag with the lyrics and the band photo with the die cut for the label. But this time around, uh, the inner bag consists of uh, scans of the master tape boxes, which I think is a nice touch to really hone in on the fact that this is an all analog pressing. And yes, this is the exact tapes that they used for the mastering of this particular vinyl pressing. So I think that is a very nice touch. And of course, stored in a nice anti-static sleeve, which is always a beautiful touch. And here it is, pressed on nice heavyweight 180 gram vinyl. Uh, the original center label had the crest design from A Day at the Races in the background. This time around, uh, we just kind of have a basic black label with red text, which, which is rather nice and different. So very nice indeed. Now with all of this said, the copy of News of the World that is available for the mainstream buying market is indeed the half speed master which is still a phenomenal pressing and since i now have both that and this all analog cut um i'm definitely interested to see what the comparisons are like in terms of the sound quality of the pressings i shall find out but that's the vinyl and then we have this giant envelope which opens up like this and inside we have a replica um, press kit from Electra Records and we have all kinds of cool bits and pieces here so first we kind of have a history write-up of the band it's their life story revealed and then you open it up talks about the tour that was gonna happen in uh, winter of 77 and then the back has their uh, discography up at that point. And then we have various band photographs. So there is John Deacon, Brian May, Roger Taylor, and of course the late great Freddie Mercury, best vocalist on this planet. No one could ever top him. A couple of band photographs, and as you can see, these are printed on very nice glossy paper stock. These are very, very nice. Suitable for framing too, I should say. Very cool. And then we also have a sticker sheet, which has stickers of the um, exterior and interior uh, gatefold designs. 
And then there's also um, design for the American tour, so you can kind of see where the box that kind of gets its front cover uh, design from. And then we have some Queen news. Uh, this talks about the making of the album. Double-sided, kind of talks about the tracks that are featured uh, on the album. Talks about the Queen fans as well as um, when they held the fan club concert and they filmed the uh, We Are The Champions uh, music video. Uh, the Queen Crown and Staging, this kind of talks about the staging that they had for the tour, which included the uh, the very grand crown-shaped lighting rig, which you, re it's, you, you can definitely see it in live footage back, uh, back in the day. Uh, it is absolutely amazing looking. And then also talks about each of the band members here. And then it also talks about the um, making of the album cover, which, of course, the painting that comprises the uh, artwork for News of the World is taken from a, a science fiction magazine. And uh, as you'll see in the hardbound book, you can see the original version, and then you can tell where they kind of changed it up to uh, accommodate the, uh, the band members. So that is the press kit from Elektra Records. Let's put this back in this sort of white, somewhat transparent uh, sleeve. And then we also have uh, various fold-out uh, inserts here. It says, Queen News of the World appearing at the Summit, Houston, December 11th, 1977. Uh, the show at uh, the Summit in Houston from this tour uh, was filmed by their in-house video crew, uh, has been bootlegged for many years. Some bits and pieces appear on official uh, home video releases that Queen has done, but it has never been released in its entirety. It really does deserve to, in all honesty. And then here we have the, the gatefold design. Sorry that I can't get it all into one uh, one frame, but you basically get the gist of it. There's the robot there. And then of course we have we have the album cover here. Exactly as it appears on the album. And also suitable for framing as well, I should say. So that is the memorabilia envelope. And now we get to the real guts of this set, and that is the hardbound book. And I'm going to take this out of the box. And as you can see, the bottom of the box has the uh, the cue from the logo on the front with the nice ribbon to kind of lift up everything, which is a nice touch. And let's open this thing up and dig our way in. And as you can see there, that is the the kind of replica robot that held copies of the album. It's like a promotional uh, kind of item right there. And that is the magazine uh, that inspired the album cover, the magazine cover. And as you can see, they kind of modified it to include the other uh, band members there. And then we have various quotes from uh, various Queen fan club magazines. There's an acetate for We Are The Champions. And then we have a bunch of photos of them um, touring, uh, not touring, rehearsing for the North American tour. These were taken at uh, Shepperton Studios. And then we have a nice uh, photo of a billboard um, within the US that Electra did for News of the World. Very nice indeed. And then we have various photos taken from the tour. So this is very much sort of a photo book of sorts where just there's various pictures of them um, on tour in support of the album and various tidbits about the record. And yep, as you can see there, that is the crown lighting rig. As you can see, there's like the, the various crown bits on top there. And these are absolutely amazing, amazing photos. Some of them, you know, have appeared elsewhere on various releases, but for the most part, I personally have never seen these photos before. And look, that's a ad from Madison Square Garden. There's a ticket right there long sleeve shirt absolutely phenomenal and 
And then here, there's a, a quote from uh, Freddie from one of the fan club magazines. There's a guest pass there. And then this breaks down the European tour. And then they even recreate that uh, that magazine cover with the with the up to date uh, album artwork, which is quite cool. And there we have some um, single sleeves for um, "Spread Your Wings" and uh, "It's Late." It's Late got an edited single release in the U.S., which is rather interesting. Another T-shirt. Here's another quote from John. And then here we have all the lyrics to the songs on the album, and this is what would be featured on the uh, inner bag uh, with the original album. And it came with like a, a band photo on the bottom, and then the flip side had a die cut for the uh, center label that you can see through. So they included the lyrics here as part of the book. And then we have all the contents here, and just for the sake of explaining everything. So right off the bat, we went through the vinyl CD1, which I will show you includes the Bob Ludwig uh, 2011 remaster, which was released before. Sounds fantastic. Uh, CD2, the Raw Sessions. Basically, it's like an alternate album of sorts where we have a different uh, version of each track from the record, whether it's rough mixes, alternative takes, demo versions, live cuts, acoustic versions, things of that sort. And then we have the bonus tracks. And here is where we have various outtakes, BBC sessions, backing tracks, instrumental versions, uh, radio edits, as well as different live versions from the various Queen live releases that have come out in recent years. All the credits are here. And then we get to the discs themselves. So first up, this is the main album here. This is the 2011 remaster. Here is the raw sessions. Bonus tracks. And then this is a documentary called The American Dream. And this is a phenomenal documentary talking about uh, the preparation and the, um, the lead up to the U.S tour that winter in 77 includes footage of them recording in the studio rehearsing on tour backstage footage live footage um this is a great great documentary to check out just to kind of give you some context as to what was going on at the time and that right there is the book And there you go. That is the box set. So there you guys go. That is my unboxing of the Queen News of the World 40th Anniversary Edition box set. If you enjoyed this video, please go ahead, give this video a like, subscribe to the channel. And if you want to support this channel, be sure to check me out on Patreon. See you guys in the next video. And most importantly, keep the record spinning.